Hey guys, can come in here. It's uh, Monday the 23rd of um, March. Sorry, man, a little bit of breath. Had a very rushless day and I had to just do a bunch of uh, work around the house and I'm also fat. Uh, so that doesn't help. But, um, so just a few pickups. One thing I'm really looking forward to. One, I was trying to find for a long time. I was able to find a really good deal for it. And then, yeah. So there's just four things. Uh, we'll go through this. I know it's not my five rule limit, but you'll see why. Technically, it's actually only three things as well. Um, but next, this tomorrow, which is Tuesday, there's nothing coming out that I really want. And then the 31st, maybe the first time that something comes out that I want. So, uh, first off, use a uh, whiplash. Um, now, you may be wondering, uh, you already showed this off, and uh, that's because Best Buy uh, lowered it by two bucks. So, because I'm an elite member, I was able to return it and, and price match for two bucks. But not only that, today they're running a promo where if you buy two movies on a list, you get a $10 gift card. So I was able to return it, save two bucks, buy Foxcatcher, which I really, really want to see. Can't wait. Um, and uh, you get a $10 gift card towards the third purchase, or the fourth purchase, which will be the final thing I show you. So there's that. So yeah, Whiplash is old, but Foxcatcher's new, and I got a really good deal. Uh, the third thing is, this movie, uh, sequel just announced, so that might give it away. But, um, uh, since I've started collecting Blu-rays, I was always trying to find this. Uh, I saw it in the shop once in a Best Buy, and then it disappeared. And then every time I found it, it was always just insanely expensive online or on eBay, like 65 bucks. Uh, I'm sure they'll do a re-release now that the sequel's been announced, but I found this on a site called Bull Moose. Um, I searched UPC numbers when something's hard to find. I'm used to it because of Doctor Who. Um... DVDs because a bunch of them are now out of print so I'm used to searching the UPCs to try to find obscure sites uh, that's actually how I found um, I think I mentioned this in the video how I found the uh, the Monty Python complete set because that's been out of print for a long time and it goes for a lot of money and I got it for 35 bucks because it was from a record store in like Minnesota or something like that um, oh, my neck is stiff today um Anyways, it's uh, Zoolander. Um, I like this movie. Do I think it's like the funniest movie ever? Uh, no, but kind of pretty. Sorry, my hands are shaking today. Yeah, pretty good amount of special features. I'm excited for the sequel because I I like this movie. I thought it was done well, and you know what the the weirdest thing is is uh, when you saw them on the Paris runway, these two guys. Uh, they didn't age at all, um, so that's cool. They look exactly the same. It's really fun. I uh, hear the special features for uh, oops, Whiplash, not Whiplash, uh, Foxcatcher. But uh, you know, whatever you want. Uh, that's actually didn't come with DVD. All right, the last thing. I already own these films, but uh, this came out, supposed to come out tomorrow, but I heard Best Buy had them in stock. Uh, in fact, Walmart didn't have them in stock, and Target was only shipping them. Uh, no one is actually, and even if you go on Best Buy's website now, it says uh, in-store pickup coming soon, but it will ship it to you. Um, but the people at Best Buy told me the actual date that they were allowed to sell these was the 22nd. Uh, but they wait till the 23rd, even though it came on the 24th. Um, and uh, it's... The Fast and the Furious Blu-ray Collection Limited Edition Tire. With 750 to see Fury 7, which I was going to see anyways. Plus a sneak peek, um, which I'll be watching today. Um... Man, I've grown to love these films. Uh, honestly, uh, I don't even know how many, um, how long ago that pickup was that I got that uh, Target Oopsie Daisy with um, 
what was it called? Um, uh, it was a cartwheel. Oops. Um, my, my brain just farted there. Uh, so I got that. Hello. Hi. How are you? You can see me in the chrome. Hi. Um, I hate when people do that in videos, but I found myself doing it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, and that was the first time I owned uh, any of the Fast and Furious films. I remember seeing um, the first one when it came out, I think. Uh, or shortly after it came out. Um, and then I saw the second one and the third one, both when they were out on rental at Blockbuster or something. Uh, and after... Uh, initially, I I didn't like Tokyo Drift. I like it now because I like the character Han. Um, but and I like the I even like the kid from that now. Um, I'm excited because he's supposed to be in Fast Seven, just for uh, Fury Seven. Sorry, just for a little bit. Uh, and then I guess the rumors are he signed on for the next two films as well, uh, which he might be replacing, I say replacing, but there's no replacing him, but he might be taking over his lead for Paul Walker, uh, which would be interesting, because I actually like him, he's, um, he's in NCIS New Orleans, and he's like the best part about that show, um, also the guy, uh, from Quantum Leap, uh, who's really fun, uh, I'm going off on a, on a ramble, I apologize, um, but anyways, uh, so that's just the first time I had even rewatched them since they came out, or since I watched them the first time, and um, and I liked the, f I, I pretty much felt the same uh, until I got to the third one. I thought, oh, this isn't that bad. In fact, this is this is good. This isn't that terrible as I remember it. Uh, and then I watched four, five, and six, and I was just blown away. Uh, they they up their game. Uh, are they the best films ever? No, but they are like really cool driving action films. Um, and, you know, I love cars. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so I had to jump on this. Since I got that for like 10 bucks, I think it was, for six films. Uh, this was 39 plus the $10 gift card. So $29.99, which is pretty damn good. Um, so, yeah, I'll unbox this. Um, I went on... Uh, on a kind of a journey to try to find the slips because uh, you know they came out with those matching slips and I found one, two, and five uh, which means I need three, four, and six then I realized that six doesn't actually have a matching um, set or matching slip so I give up on that uh, so really quick before I show you this I wanted to jump to I'm going to zoom in on this but I'm just going to jump cut to it you know what never mind that was a uh, terrible idea and it didn't focus, so I'm just going to cut that all out. I got my computer. I'm um, having some some memory issues, RAM issues. Uh, I don't really want to get into that. It's not really any big concern. Um, but it is working and I can play games on it uh, to some extent. I'm um, having a real issue with City Skylines, uh, which I love. But I'm having a real, real issue with them. Um, of playing it for long periods of time without it crashing, but that's actually the game's fault. Um, so yeah, uh, let me let me take this cellophane off, and we'll take a look a closer look at the uh, tire. So hold on. All right, guys, this was too cool of a photo op to set up. So that's the 750. There's the tire. There's the box. That's the uh, like the UV codes, uh, and there's the the back. Um, I just figured I'd use this as a, a cool thumbnail. But yeah, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, open up the tire, take a look at it. So this is really good quality. I mean, this is actually rubber on the sides. And then plastic on the back. I think the way it works is... And I have to do it with two hands, so let me open this up. Hold on. You can just twist the top off. So yeah, the top came right off, and the disc got stored in there. Um, I think... Yeah, so... They were extra careful. And you see they put foam 
on the back of each of the discs uh, so they won't scratch. This was, I think, uh, the same way they handled the uh, um, the five disc version of this that I think came out in the UK. I don't know if it actually came out here. Um, so there's Fast Fast 2. My fingers are fat, so that's why you get in there. It's Tokyo Drift. This comes out. It's a little tray, just like in the old one. So you can actually get to the discs if you have fat fingers. And it's Fast and Furious. There's a foam. It is Fast Five. And you should get the foam out with that one. There it is. Fast six. There is some foam. And there is a fast inferior seven bonus disc. Unfortunately this is a DVD. But uh, you know what I don't really care. They could have just been There were good plans about the DVD bonus features and honestly like like it's the same I seem I feel the same thing with Mocking Jay or the um, Hunger Games series, they could have gave us nothing. That, that could have just been a uh, a digibook, and we could have paid that price for that. Uh, this could have just been a tire set without the uh, bonus disc. And we could have paid the same price. And then, here is... A piece of cardboard representing uh, Furious 7, which I guess is coming in 2015. Um, there's no foam into that one. So, whatever. Um, it's whether they put foam. Oh, I guess. I don't know. I, I might not even put It depends. I might buy two versions if there's a cool enough version. Um, because I actually don't want individual sets, so I wouldn't mind sticking this. Plus, then it makes this entire set, uh, the Paul Walker, uh, series, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to pop that in. My friend is coming over. He has never seen any of the film. Well, he's seen the first one, like, bits of it. Um, so... We're going to try over the next week to watch all of them, or he's going to try. I think we're going to watch the first two, um, and then maybe three, depending on how much he likes them. Um, films tonight. Uh, and then I'm going to lend him whatever else films he needs. Uh, I think we all want to go see it together. Fast seven. My battery just almost died on me. Sorry, I'm just trying to put these discs back in before I forget to do it, and then we get all scratched. Anyway, so that is that. Um, hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys. I don't know if I'll see you guys next week. Uh, Interstellar comes out, but I honestly don't think there's anything else. I think, I think I'm gonna see you uh, in April, probably second or first week of April. Maybe we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go on that same tangent and go on every time and say, yeah, maybe we'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, on a, on a little side note, and I know I said I wasn't going to go on tangents, uh, I had recorded a video that I thought I scheduled to upload, uh, honestly, like, 10 days ago. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, I noticed, but that video never went out. Uh, 10 days ago was the year mark 
that uh, I've been doing Blu-ray pickups. Uh, so all that stuff in a year. Uh, it's been a very exciting year. Uh, I say that nonchalantly because I'm tired, but it has been. It's been a great year. Uh, I've enjoyed being part of the community, of the Bluetooth community. I've enjoyed watching all your videos. I've enjoyed your comments. Uh, we're hit 40 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's that's a milestone. Uh, I want to do a cool giveaway. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to do. I want to do a prize, but I want to do that when we hit 50. So uh, 10 more subscribers, we can do that. I'll do some sort of cool cool giveaway. Uh, I'm not sure what, but I'll figure it out. Uh, it may just be a gift card or it may be something cooler. Uh, who knows? It may be a steelbook. Sorry about that. Uh, phone call right in the middle of recording. Problem with doing it at the phone. Uh, but uh, yeah, so maybe some steelbooks, maybe some movies, maybe a gift card. I'm not even sure what I want to do. Um, I'm sure uh, whatever I do will be cool. Uh, and it's it's not a ploy to gain subscribers. Yes, I need 10 more subscribers to get to that point. But it's to show my appreciation for the subscribers that I have. Um, and it won't require much, honestly. Uh, I've done giveaways before. And it usually entails be subscribed and comment on a video. Uh, the video that talks about the giveaway. Not this one. Do not Well, you can comment on this one if you have something to say about Fast and the Furious, Whiplash, Zoolander, or... Blu-rays or box catcher or anything really just comment on the video if you want but I haven't done the giveaway yet so you'll see a video when we hit 50 it'll be clearly labeled 50 subscriber giveaway maybe a couple exclamation points anyways uh but yeah thanks for watching guys uh, as always like comment subscribe and I'll see you next time bye quick little side note here look I slid the little thing on the bottom of this box it says Fast and the Furious Collection on it. And it's a little stand. Uh, that's fantastic. It's just a little cardboard piece of crap. But uh, honestly, I thought it was just like going to be more of um, this thing here. Which was on top. It's just uh, black cardboard. But uh, it's a little stand. Alright. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.